What's up guys? Well today I picked up this uh, Pepsi cooler that was turned into a reptile incubator. Um, I found it on Craigslist. I was going to make my own with the fridge back there but you can see the difference. That one's small, this one's big. Plus I don't have to do nothing to this one. At least I think I don't have to do anything to this one. Uh, you know the guy has the flex watt. He has the uh, uh, temperature gauge and all that uh, thermostat in the back to control the temperatures. He has a fan up on top. Um, was gonna make my own out of a fridge or uh, a wine cooler. I saw this nice wine cooler incubator that um, Anthony from Granddaddy Herbs made, and I really like that one. That one's pretty cool. Uh, he hooked up like some buttons back here. I think he hooked it up and. Uh, had a nice light inside that was pretty cool so I decided to try one of these fridges uh, this is my first time using a fridge incubator I hope it goes good I've always used my uh, my cooler one that I made with a, a fish tank heater heater and some water in it and it worked really good but this is my first time I want to try this this year but uh, this was used for ball pythons before the guy used to breed, breed by ball pythons. He has a nice setup. I'm just mm, never used the fridge before, so my question is: Have you? Do you guys have experience with heat uh, flex watt heat tape? My plan was to use because you know all the videos that I've seen had big flex watt heat tapes in the back, probably like an eight inch or ten inch. I'm not sure. One in the back one on the side and one on this side all the way down to the bottom but those were big ones this guy set up two four inch strips in the back all the way to the bottom another one on the side and another one way in the bottom I just want to know if any of you guys have experience with uh, flex watt heat tape are these any good the small ones the small ones do they give a, out as much heat as the big ones do I just want to know just in case I have to change it out change it out pretty soon uh, the guy said that it worked really good he inked a bit, uh, put the uh, python eggs in here I'm not sure what the temperature said he had them up, up on but uh, said it, it always stayed uh, the thermostat turned on whenever they got the heat got too low and it stopped when it got perfect, you know, temperatures in there. Um, I barely hooked it up. It looks like it's working. It's going up to 73, 74 down there. It was 65 when I started it. So it looks like it's working. But uh, I just want to know if uh, it's taking a while too. I don't know how fast the flex wire is. This is my first time using something like this. So if somebody could tell me with somebody who has experience with uh, using these kind of incubators I'm using this for bearded dragon eggs so if anybody's ever tried this for bearded dragon eggs if you guys could please let me know how good it worked for you guys or if it was no good that way I can just stick to my uh, to my incubator I don't want no eggs dying on me but uh you know if you guys have any info like uh how the humidity is I know I, I, I like hum the humidity on my bearded dragon eggs on my on my last incubator uh, you know if this is easy if you could control the the humidity in there how do you control it the guy told me just to put a tray down there of water and that you know gives it a little bit of moisture in there humidity and uh, you know this is just my first time using an incubator like this I want it to be uh, pretty good. I don't want no eggs dying on me. But this is that guy's setup. He has flex watt heat tape, four inches from the top to the bottom. He has another one on the bottom with the basket to keep the water tray off the thing. One on the side. Uh, he has a fan up there. It's running. I don't feel any heat coming from the tape. I don't know if you're supposed to feel heat. Are these supposed to be warm or what? But I don't feel anything coming from them. But the temperatures did go up to 73 from 65. I don't know how that works. But I don't feel any heat coming from that flex watt tape. Uh, 
you supposed to feel some or what? I'm pretty sure you're supposed to feel some. Um, please let me know. I have tons of questions, but I don't have any eggs right now, so I have time to uh, work with this, figure this, this out. It's a Pepsi cooler. It's pretty huge. Nice size. I can fit lots of stuff in there. But I've tried a couple things. I tried that incubator up there for like the first two years. I really don't like it. I think it's a piece of shit. Because, uh, you know, killed a couple of my eggs a couple of times. Then when it gets really hot in my garage, that thing goes sky high. One time I came home, that thing was like in the 90s. Killed my eggs. And uh, the other cooler that I made out of the soda cooler, that worked pretty good. The temperatures, uh, when it got hot in here, it didn't mess with the temps in there. But uh, I want to know how this works. If you guys also know about the temperatures when it gets hot in the garage or whatever, does it mess with the heat inside? You know, whatever experience you guys have, please let me know. I have a, you know... Still have some time to mess with it. I kind of want to know some info about the flex watt heat tape, just in case. Uh, just in case I have to get some more from the reptile show down in LA, I'll pick some up. Kind of want some big ones, but never know. All right, well, hit me up, guys. Thank you. Bye.